Jumptron. Oh my god, summer's almost here! But I haven't lost my winter weight. Ah, I can't look! Jock, what am I gonna do to lose all this weight? Stop inventing and eating things like cheesecake pizza. Oh, that was in the past, Jock. Cheesecake pizza's in the past! I suppose I should bring up your shortcomings as well. You're a regular Lucille Ball. You know what I'm gonna do to lose weight? Actually go outside. Ah. I got an even better idea. Released in 1987 by Epix as a follow-up to the popular Winter and Summer Games series, California Games was made to capture and emulate the rhythms of the sun-bleached Pacific Coast. If I first stop traffic on a 405 freeway, ah! Epix figured, why leave the comfort and shade of your own home to play in the hot summer sun? Skating, surfing, BMX, and more, baby! This game had it all. Surf's up, dude. First up, the half pipe. Ah, the Hollywood sign. Oh, that's how you know they're not fooling. This is a real deal California skate park. The game just kind of throws you right in. No tutorial or breakdown on how the mechanics work. Frankly, I'm not getting anywhere by standing up here. Time to dive right in. I have a feeling this is foreshadowing. I don't know what I'm doing. He just falls over every time and his skateboard just hits him in the head. Then it gives me cryptic tips on the bottom of the screen, like too late for kick turn. Yeah, well, how about you just teach me the turn first and we'll add the kick later? Because I can't even switch directions. He just sort of weeble wobbles and then falls. Every now and then when I pull off a move, it gives me random points. It's stuff like 156 skull and crossbones and 105 water balloon. At least you can give it to me in some terminology that makes sense, like coconut 56. Oh, now there's something a sensible person could understand. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm not getting it. Let's move on to foot bag. Foot bag. What's, well, that's my favorite Cali sport. I don't know about you. What are you, like a street hawk? Hey, uh, you, uh, you got somewhere to be? I'm trying. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll get out of here. I'll go if I'm disturbing. I mean, I, I can take a hint. No, go, it's fine. There are a couple waves I can ride. Now, I don't know who they were trying to fool here, but they should have called this what it really is. River dance practice. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just hacky sack. This is not called foot bag. It's called hacky sack. Anywhere. Is that supposed to be the Golden Gate Bridge back there? Yeah, I know it's not actually gold, but seems like it might have a case of the seasonal depression. And is that Alcatraz Island? Oh man, I mean, when I think of the beauty and majesty of California, the first thing, the first thing I think of is the maximum security correctional facilities. Gotta see it. You can actually knock down this bird. That's pretty fun. Come on, get him, get him! <laughs> yeah! Wow, I'm right here. Yeah, well tell me what you're gonna do if I hold you like an ice cream cone. I'm gonna squirm a little bit, not much. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, next event, surfing. Let's ride those waves. It's like I'm really there. This one's a bit unintuitive at first. You die instantly unless you push left on the controller right away. You press left and right to turn your guy, and I guess you're trying to get as many jumps as possible before the wave comes and gets you. If you don't come down at the same angle you went up, you'll fall behind the wave. It always cracks me up. See you later! Also, sometimes when you wipe out, a shark comes up and is like, Hello there! That is the cutest goddamn shark I've ever seen. I love him, and he's mine now. Overall, though, there's not much to this one. Next up is skating. Cool, like skateboarding? Oh, no, they mean roller skating. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, really? This girl falls over everything. Cracks in the cement. Tiny tufts of grass in the sidewalk. Sand particles. Oh, she made it over the chalk on the floor. Gotta be honest, didn't expect her to clear that one. <laughs> they should give this game to sick patients, because I haven't had a laugh this good in a long time. Honey, 
I think maybe you should keep your day job. Okay, BMX, something we all understand. Please let this one be good. I mean, we've all ridden a bike before. Okay, except for this guy. Oh, 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 oh! Almost lost gravity there, Knievel Jr. That was a close one. Oh my god, I can't play literally a single one of these games. They're impossible to control, they're impossible to understand. I can't go five feet without eating shit. Yeah, and not to mention, the game literally mocks you by giving you colorful commentary throughout. Dorky, also possibly dead, call an ambulance. Try slowing down. Oh, oh yeah? Have, I, I, got, I got one for you. How about you try hiring a real programmer? That'll get, get us a few of these hurdles. I'm a clip clap like a horse. Frisbee! I don't even know how to play this. What is this? Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. It's a perfect 10. It's a bit bizarre, you control both characters here, the one throwing the disc and the one catching it. So this is a game where you play catch with yourself? Hey guys, chances are if I'm actually playing this in the 80s, I'm probably already a fat nerdy kid in his basement alone without friends. You, tr you trying to drive the point home or something? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh no, I didn't get it. So there you have it. Those were the games. I mean, it seems to me that this is a perfectly accurate simulation of California sportery. If you suck! But luckily for us, they made a California Games 2. Let's see if they've since honed their programming skills. You guys, um, you, uh, you guys, you guys all right? Is someone, someone behind me? Let's drop in on a grommet? Oh, grommet. I, I, I used to say it all the time back in Cali. You couldn't stop me saying this word. Grommet this, grommet that. The fuck does grommet mean? California Games 2 gives you a whole slew of new sports to enjoy. First up is hang gliding. So majestic. Oh shit! You alright? Good god, how violent. You wouldn't expect that from this game. Turns out what you have to do is watch the wind sock so you don't catch the wind in the wrong direction and fling yourself to a rocky doom. Come on. Ah, almost! I guess you're supposed to drop these water balloons onto the target, but I haven't been very good at it so far. Oh, uh, alright, there's no more targets over here. I'm glad they gave me silence so I could sit here and just contemplate the inevitable. Oh, there I go. Let's pick the guy holding what looks to be a surfboard. Oh, it's a helicopter game. Okay. <laughs> what is going on here? Well, as you can see, they've honed in on all the crucial Californian landmarks. Well, you got Hollywood Mount Everest back there, the San Francisco Bay Area, 10 miles away, and, uh, d dinosaur? You know, the Los Angeles dinosaur. The famous Los Angeles dinosaur. Uh, I can't quite land this thing. Oh! That's no good. Uh, excuse me, is the point of this game to fly a helicopter to the top of a mountain and chill with a hot babe? I can't really fault anyone here. This is perfect game design. What you're actually supposed to do is drop yourself off at the top of this slope and start snowboarding down. Oh, this is California games? Why am I snowboarding with a view of both the desert and the Golden Gate Bridge? Both in the same view, from a snow, from a mountain, a snowy mountain. Yeah, something's telling me they uh, didn't do their research here. Except for the dinosaur, because like, like I was saying, that really was spot on. After a while, you get out of the snow and hit the grass, so it's like you're actually going down a mountain. It's kind of interesting, honestly. Then, eventually, you get to a snowboard halfpipe, and this time you can actually control it, which is cool. It's too bad they didn't figure out how to program a clock yet, though, because that would have been really helpful. But they're getting close. Wave racing is wave racing. It's pretty cool for DOS, but pretty basic. Not much to say about this one. Next up is bodyboarding, I guess. I don't know why he decides to fall from the dock like that. I guess to get a head start into the ocean. Your job is to catch the wave. This is already a step up from the first game because it actually tells you what to do. 
As for understanding how to control it, well, you're still on your own there, buddy. I have no idea what I am doing. This is impossible. Oh no, there goes Grandma. Oh my god, I did not edit that in. If you wait long enough, the silly music starts playing again. Really? Did they not think about how that might, you know, ruin the moment? The last game is a skateboarding game. As you can see, you're only allowed in this scene if you have a severe disregard for rules and other people's property. Oh, and all our favorite Cali phrases are here too, such as the most smooth, rad, and swood. Uh, they just couldn't stop me! I'm just, I'm going all up on the rooftops! Swoon this! Swoon that! Just fucking, you know? I think you're shit, it's a fucking show. What's the fucking light? Vertical hunger, yes, absolutely, because horizontal hunger is for grommets! Ah, oh, jeez, these graphics! The screen leading into the game looked better than the game itself. What the hell? This is the worst looking game by far. All the other ones had decent graphics. You know, this looks worse than one of those games that came prepackaged with Windows 95. Whoop, whoops, looks like I fell off the pipe. I died. I, for, for real, funeral and all. Oh my God. These people are really affected by this. That must have been one swood guy. I came here for fun in the sun, and all I got was a bunch of depressingly amateur sports people and a lot, a lot of uncalled for death. Just gratuitous death. We would have been fine without it. Rest in peace, my bronze-skinned babies. Rest in peace. What did I just play? What, 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 what in the name of all that is holy did I just play? I, I wanted to have fun, damn it. For real this time. And all that happened was I got sad. And you, you know what? I don't need no stupid game to tell me how to have fun. I'll do it all on my own. Now call us Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. JonTron is sponsored in part by Audible.com, an Amazon company. As you may well know, JonTron is an independently run show, which means we fund and produce it ourselves. That's a great thing, because it keeps us free of corporate shackles, and we get to do whatever we want. But to keep the show free and running, we depend on sponsorships and advertisements. If you'd like to support the show, consider signing up for a free 30-day trial on Audible.com using this link, audible.com slash JonTron. It's an Amazon audiobook company, so you can take your audiobooks wherever you want with you. It's got great iOS and Android support. It's a good thing. If you happen to be a Game of Thrones fan like most of us are, you can sign up right now and get the first Song of Ice and Fire book free. Can't go wrong. Thanks for watching and supporting the show. This is Spaghetti, and have a nice day. Oh, jeez, what the f- Also, don't forget to follow JonTron on Facebook and Twitter. And if you want to see more JonTron, click those annotations. But to keep, but to keep the show free and, but to keep, but to keep the show. Are you fucking serious?